A very good evening to you. My name is Josephine Frimpo and thanks for staying with us here on Mission. Now on to our first story. His visual impairment did not stop him from attaining an MPhil in special education from the University of Cape Coast. Joseph Kweku Ampong is of the view that despite his success in the face of challenges, politicians and government should ensure the full implementation of the Disability Act which provides for free education to all persons with disability, a report by Wendy Lai. 61-year-old Joseph Kweku Ampong, a retired educationist, suffered from glaucoma in his teens and that resulted in his visual impairment. He is married with five children. The retired educationist believes in the immeasurable benefits of education. He says persons living with disability should be given the necessary support to climb the right educational ladder because they have the right to education. He shared some of the challenges he faced while on campus. The first degree, no single braille textbook. You only depend upon the, the printed the printed books. We made appeal, appeal after an appeals, because there were, there were some common books, common textbooks that the government could have put them into braille for us, but nothing was done. It is a struggle. It is other than that, I would have made, I would have come out of first class. I had second class up. Looking at the problems I went through during my second degree, that was the same. As we head to the polls, he is of the view all persons living with disability should go to school for free. Free education for disabled. That is very, very important because disability can be anybody's lot. He was concerned. Manifestos of political parties don't cover persons living with disability or even offer solutions to their challenges. All the, the, the manifestos that I have been listening to does not go anywhere to, 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 to cater for the aspirations of the disabled. Joseph Kweku Ampong said he gets to know about political party manifestos through the media. He has been voting since the beginning of the Fourth Republic and does that through the help of his wife. I have confidence in my wife and so it's my wife who has been guiding me. I tell her I want you to help me to vote for this and this and this man. Oh yes. Oh this and this party. I'm afraid I may deceive myself with the title this and I may spoil it. I don't want to waste it at all. I want a way where my vote will be counted. According to Joseph Kwekwampong, the 2% Common Fund is one of the interventions which has supported some persons living with disability, adding even that is still not enough. It is 2% too. Mm, it is 2% for all the three categories of disabled. He said the implementation of the Disability Act, which requires public buildings to provide accessibility, has failed. On that point in particular, the government has not been helpful has not been helpful at all. We expect all these things. You go to, there's no university which you go and the, the place is uh, disability friendly. Meanwhile, the district chief executive of Pristia Honivali said the law is being enforced to ensure new buildings are disability friendly. Those new buildings that we've put up, especially the administration blocks, we provided those access for them. But there are some old structures, hospitals, we need funds to make those access for them. 